what I have over here is the cable clamp module. Um, so we use these modules over here at BCIT to practice and learn how to um, lock wire turnbuckles. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to show you how to actually use these things. Probably seen these around. These are called turnbuckle cable clamps, right? Turnbuckle, turnbuckle cable clamps. All right, so we're getting somewhere, right? So you're probably wondering how we use those. So I'm going to show you exactly how. Now, so you can get these from stores. We have a class set in stores that you can go and sign out and use. Now, why do we use these? Okay, I'm gonna try to loosen this turnbuckle, okay? I'm trying to remove it. Now, if you take a look at the cable, it wants to twist. So I cannot loosen this cable without twisting the wire, okay? We don't wanna do that. See that? We do not want to do that, okay? We don't want to twist the cable, and we know the number one reason we damage cable uh, is through um, handling, mishandling, okay? So, I mean, that's the loosening direction, and you can actually see the cable wanting to twist, okay? So, we want to stop that. So, essentially what we're doing with these cable clamps is we're going to install them on the the fittings of the cable all right now you'll notice there's a little notch cut on um, the jaw of the cable clamp okay I mean it's not a big deal but if you can uh, it's nice to get it on one of these grooves on the the fittings okay but I mean sometimes it doesn't line up so it's okay if you don't as long as the jaws are tight on the fitting okay as long as the jaws are not gonna you know as long as you're stopping the cable from uh, twisting okay so that's the main goal here so I'm gonna go ahead and install these all right and then that one actually fits on the the groove tighten the wing nut just like that yeah. just tighten there install this okay See if I can get that on the groove. Okay, yeah, sort of. Not not completely, but you know, it's good enough. Remember, it's not critical to get it on there on the groove, but it's nice if you can. That's nice and tight there. Okay, nice and tight. Okay, now. I've got the cable clamp installed on the fitting of my um, cables, okay, both my cables. Now, when I go to loosen the turnbuckle, okay, I'm loosening direction, okay, there you go. You'll notice that the cables are in the same position as they were before. See that? They're no longer twisting, okay? So, that is why we gotta use um, a turnbuckle cable clamp for um, removing turnbuckles. Let's go ahead and take that off for you. Remember, voila, turnbuckle. Now, each of you will have a chance to remove this from an actual aircraft as well, all right? We're not going to be removing it from these modules. I just use it to show you how to use these uh, uh, cable clamps, okay? Now, a couple, couple other notes here. Uh, you have left-hand threads on the side where the ring is, and you have right-hand threads, no ring, okay? Um, <clears throat> the AC4313 shows you how to install this, or tells you to install uh, no more than four threads on initial installation. Okay, but um, I, you know, we can get by with one. All right, so I'll show you what I used to do. Um, I used to go ahead and line up the the right hand side or left, whatever side. I'll just go with this one because it's easy, and throw in one thread till it bites. So right about boom. Okay, so now it bit. It bit the thread. All right. Oh. Slightly damaged there, but 
you get the idea. Um, yeah, there it is. I think this terminal might be a bit small for this cable. But anyways, you get the idea. So I've got basically one, one and a half threads on this side. And then I can go ahead and get my other end of my cable and uh, left hand hand thread. Oops, sorry. Left hand thread and install the other end. Now I got both ends installed. So, like I said, AC4313 says four threads on initial installation. Uh, we can get by with one. All right. And again, you will need to have the um, turnbuckle cable clamp installed for tightening as well. Okay, so you can notice that. You know my cable is not twisting and I'm tightening up the cable just like that all right so now when you need to tension your cable uh, you're gonna be doing so with the turnbuckle so you know if you get to a point where you can no longer turn the turnbuckle with your fingers you notice there's a convenient hole in the middle of the turnbuckle just get your pin punch, uh, stick it in there, and let it help you um, turn the turnbuckle, okay, if it gets too tight. Or, you know, you're trying to loosen it and it's too tight. You can't seem to loosen it. You can also do that for the removal as well.